Hey, Meg. Hi. Let's find the instantaneous rate of change of 3 minus x squared when x is 1. We Do need it. to use the difference quotient. Woo! So there's the difference quotient. Ta-da! Just another way to calculate the slope. So then we want to substitute in a for everywhere, or we want to substitute in 1 for everywhere there's an a or an x. So we do f at 1 plus h minus f at 1 divided by h. And then we turn this into our function. Beautiful. Cool. Then we're going to expand this. And simplify this into two. All right. Yeah, I think that's right. <laughs> it is right. Okay. I don't think it is. I know it is. Because uh, I think just right there, minus 3, minus 1, you meant to put that in, sorry, minus 3, minus 1 squared, you meant to put that in brackets. So oh, yeah. Thing, yeah. So, so the whole thing becomes minus 2. Yeah. You know, you know yeah. what I meant. All right. Then we are going to we are simplifying our expansion. So we have three. No, it looks good. <laughs> Just expanding and simplifying. So three minus two one is two. And you got an aberrant three that showed up right beside your limit. Oh <laughs> <laughs> thank you for pointing that out. And so we can simplify that. Not that. Two, so these can, because two minus two is zero. So we have two minus two h minus h squared divided by h. We can factor out the h's or an h from the top. So we have h minus two. But H, these cancel, so we are left with negative 2 minus H. And so this is the number that would be approaching the limit, so this is our answer. Beautiful. Mm. H goes to zero. <laughs>